and welcome to Eminac Online Tutorial. <coughs> now let's look at this question. As the convex mirror produces an image which is one quarter the size of an object placed in front of it. Now if the radius of curvature of the mirror is 32 cm, now the distance between the object and the image is. Alright, now first of all, since this is a convex mirror, let us take note that the image is always virtual which means it is negative okay and uh, the f uh, the f which is the focal length also is negative all right now to this end let's record let us record that f itself equals to radius of curvature all over 2 so and uh, we are told that radius of curvature is 32 here all over 2 which implies this will be negative or 16 and it is negative 16 because for convex mirror f is negative all right now to this end now let's uh now and the question here says it produces an image which is one one quarter of the size of an object which means that v equals to one quarter of the size of the object so which implies this is a negative u all over v okay why i put negative because it shows that it is what a convex uh, mirror okay now we are told to calculate the distance between the object and the image this implies that we will find the object distance and the image distance and sum them together that will be the distance between the object and the image all right let's uh from the mirror formula we have one all over v plus one all over u okay and one all over f rather here is uh one over 16 that'll be negative one all over 16 then equals to uh our v here is uh, here okay so here will now be one okay let me just solve it here one all over v okay and our v is a uh, negative u over four that will be one all over negative u all over four which implies one divided by negative u all over four which gives us one times uh negative 4 all over u okay so to this end now we can see here that uh, 1 all over all over v here is negative 4 negative 4 all over u then plus 1 all over u okay to this end since we have the same denominator you can now say this is negative 4 plus 1 all over u okay so here we have negative 1 all over 16 equals negative 3 all over u okay now to this end let us now multiply both sides by u or just cross multiply by cross multiplying this will come over here this will come over here so we end up having negative u equals to negative 3 times uh, 16 okay now and when we punch our calculator down this should give us a negative 48 centimeter so our u is 48 centimeter okay now to this end now let us now uh now since here our v equals to negative u all over 4 here so we can see here that v which is the image distance will now be negative 48 all over 4 which will give us what negative uh, 12 centimeter all right so for us to calculate the distance so the distance here now will now be 48 now plus 12 now we won't be considering uh the negative value here and the reason is 
this negative value tells you that the image is what virtual okay so here we now have 48 plus 12 will now give us what 60 centimeter okay is there any 60 centimeter here all right that's the final answer now looking at this question a ray of light is incident on a plane mirror is inclined to the mirror at an angle of 50 what is the angle of deviation of the ray now this is a jump question now let us let me just draw the diagram for a better illustration okay all right so this here is the mirror all right now the uh, light ray incident here so since the incident here automatically here should be the normal now but here is it inclined to the mirror so which means here is 50 okay all right so normally after in, uh, when it incident this way then it's meant to what reflect back okay so this is so this is angle of incidence and this is angle of what reflection and according to the law here the angle of uh, incidence is always equal to the angle of uh, reflection so now if you take a look at this now you see it's uh, an angle sorry angle 90 now if it's angle 90 then here is 50 definitely here will definitely be what 40 right and if here is 40 and according to the law that angle of incidence is equal to angle of a reflection definitely means here also be what be 40 now then how do we get to calculate the angle of a deviation now normally for in just a in a plain uh, explanation this ray of light as it travels here aside from it striking on the mirror is meant to go this way right so now the division here now is from here down to this point so this is the angle of what deviation and if you take a look at this you see it's a straight line which means it is what uh i'm going to straight line which is what 180 degree now to this end now how do we now calculate this whole part if this whole part now is 80 degree now if this whole part is 80 degree it implies that 180 minus 80 should give us 100 degrees so the angle of deviation is 100 degrees i hope it is well now let us look at this question again uh the magnification of the image of an object placed in front of a convex mirror is 1 over 3 now if the radius of curvature of the mirror is 24 centimeter what is the distance between the object and the image now here is the option now this is a jump question now how do we get to solve this now let us recall by uh, our formula that magnification equals v all over u okay we have v is probably the object distance i mean image height or image distance all over uh object height or distance okay now and we are told that the magnification is 1 over 3 it implies here that this will now be negative 1 over 3 and the reason is for a convex mirror the magnification is negative okay and as a result because the image is always what negative now uh, the focal length which is equals to r all over 2 which will give us also our r here is 24 all over 2 which will give us what uh negative 12 centimeter now it is negative because the focal length of a convex mirror is also negative all right now to this end we need to look for the object distance and the image distance for us to actually calculate the distance between the object and the image all right now let us not recall this formula that m equals to f all over u minus f now this is actually derived from the uh, mirror formula now and this is the relationship between the magnification the focal length and the object distance 
okay now to this end we've gotten our image here our image uh, I mean magnification to be negative 1 over 3 and the focal length also to be negative 12 so plugging in this parameter in this equation we have negative 1 over 3 equals to negative 12 all over u minus negative 12 okay now to this same we have negative 1 over 3 then equals negative 12 all over u plus 12 all right let us cross cross multiply the whole of this will multiply one at the left hand side so we end up having uh negative 12 sorry negative u negative 12 then equals to negative 36 okay to this end let us now add 12 to both sides so here we have negative u then equals to uh, 36 minus this one will be 4 uh, this one will be 2 right yeah so here we have negative 2 so our u here will now be 24 centimeter now if u is 24 centimeter and from this equation here that is the magnification we have here that negative 1 over 3 equals to v all over u and our u so this will give us negative 1 over 3 and equals to v all over 24 right now let us cross multiply at the end of the day that v when we cross multiply 24 times negative 1 will give us negative 24 then all over 3 now this will give us negative 1 sorry negative 8 negative 8 centimeter all right now the distance now now this is here is the distance of the image and this negative sign testify that the image is virtual and this is the distance of the object now now for us to calculate now the distance between the object and the image we now have that the distance here d let us assume so here we have 8 plus 24 equals to this should be 32 centimeter all right we are ignoring this negative because this negative is not applicable in the addition this negative just implies that the image form is virtual all right thank you and god bless you let's look at this question now a dentist obtains a linear magnification of four of a hole in a tooth by placing a concave mirror at a distance of 2.0 cm from the tooth. The radius of curvature of the mirror is, now these are the options, now here it says under jump question. Now, magnification equals to V all over what? U. Now, so M here is actually 4, so we can imply here that 4 equals V all over what? U. Right, okay. Now, by placing a concave mirror at a distance of so the object distance u equals 2.0 centimeter okay now we are told to find the radius of curvature now and we know that f equals to r all over what 2 okay now we can actually use so 1 all over f equals to 1 all over v plus 1 all over u okay uh let us find the value of uh, f here now given that u is uh 2 and here our f here okay sorry our v here can be calculated that will be 4 equals to V all over 2. So our 2 will now be 2 times 4, which is what? 8. So to this same, we can answer 1 all over F equals to 1 all over 8. Now plus 1 all over 2. All right. Now we can multiply this by 4, both the numerator and the denominator, to ensure that we have the same denominator at both ends. So here we have times 4 here, times 4 here. So here we have that 1 all over 4 equals 
1 all over 8 plus 4 all over 8, right? Now, which will now give us 1 plus 4 all over 8, which equals to 5 all over 8. And since it is reciprocal here, so our F now, our F will now be 8 all over what 5, which will give us a... Uh, this will be 1, remainder 3, here you have about 6, alright, centimeter. Alright, to this end here, right, so to this end, that F here will now be, I hope I'm right, yes, so F will now be R all over 2, you have 1.6 equals R all over what, 2. Now multiplying both sides by 2, so our R will become 3.2 centimeter. Alright, which is this. Now there's actually another formula you can just make do, and that is the relationship between the magnification and the radius of curvature all over. So this formula will actually uh, give you a shorter form. Alright? Thank you. Now let's look at this uh, question in physics. And we are given this diagram and we say that a ray AB, here's the ray, is incident at an angle out of uh, 25 degree, which is this, on a plane mirror. And here is the plane mirror. Now, if the mirror is turned through 35 degree in the direction indicated by the arrow, this is the arrow here. Now, what angle will the reflected ray make with the normal BN? Alright, now this is a jump question and for us to tackle this. Now, first of all, we know that the angle of an incidence is equal to that of the reflected uh, angle. So let us assume here is the reflected angle, which is what? Uh, 25 degree. So let us assume now that this is R1. Now, the reason why I'm putting R1 is because we will need to be turning the mirror at this angle. So at this point, if the mirror is now turned, take note at a five degree, let us assume here, uh, so it's now being turned this way, which means this will move towards this side, okay? All right, and take note that this is the normal, okay? Now, this is 35 degree centigrade, uh, uh, sorry, so, uh, for 35 degree. All right, now, as this mirror is now being turned this way, now it is expected that the refracted angle after a mirror is turned at an angle theta is twice uh, the, the angle, okay? Now, at this point, now take note, as this mirror is now being turned, take note that A, now we then shift now to let's see this side okay now now here is r2 okay here is r2 so and at this point here now this angle here becomes what 70 and as I said earlier, that when a mirror is rotated through an angle, that is a theta, now the refracted ray is always rotated through twice the angle of rotation of the mirror. So which means that since it is twice the angle, it implies that this refracted ray here will be twice the rotated angle theta. Now the question now is, what angle will the refracted ray make with the normal BN? So at this point now, uh, B and here, so the, the ray here that will be formed, I mean rather the angle that will be formed here will now be 70 plus 25 as indicated. This is uh, 70 plus 25, and this will give us what? 95 degree. All right, thank you. Now looking at this question here, we have that an object is placed 15 centimeter in front of a concave mirror of radius 40 centimeter the image form is now we're giving these options now how do we get to solve this and to get the right option now here we have that object distance u equals 15 centimeter 
Now the radius of curvature equals to what? 40. And from here we can actually ascertain the focal length. That would be F equals to R over what? 2. Should be 40 all over 2. Should give us what? 20 centimeter. Now recurring the e mirror formula. Now our focal length here is 20. So this will give us 1 all over 20. Then equals 1 all over V plus 1 all over 15. Okay, so the descent, bringing 1 over 15 to the left hand side, you have 1 all over 20 minus 1 all over 15 equals 1 all over what V. Finding the LCM here should be 60. Now six, 20 is 60, that will be 3. Then minus here should be 4. So here you have 1 all over V. Now 3 minus 4 give us negative 1 all over 60 equals to 1 all over v. In essence here we can now see that v equals to negative 60 centimeter. Alright, so this negative 60, this negative means that the image is what? Virtual. Okay, alright, and uh, the distance from the mirror is 60 centimeter. So to this end, virtual and 60 centimeter behind the mirror okay all right so a is the right answer all right now let's look at this question again an object of height 2.5 centimeter positioned uh, 10 centimeter from a concave mirror produces an image 30 centimeter from the mirror now the height of the image is now we are given an uh, option all right, now for us now to start with this, let us recall that uh, magnification equals to uh, the height of the image, then all over uh, the height of the object, which is also equals to uh, the distance or image distance image distance then all over object now distance all right now, now to this end but here we are see we are told that the height is 2.5 positioned uh, 10 centimeter from which means the object height is 2.5 uh, the object distance is also 10, 10 centimeter. Now produces an image. Image distance. Okay? Image distance. Now to this end, let us put it this way. Uh, height of image is what we are looking for. Now, height of object is uh, 2.5. Uh, image okay let me put distance distance the image distance image distance 10 centimeter and uh, the object distance sorry the image distance no sorry the object distance this is for the object, sorry for that, and this is for the image. So the image distance is 30 centimeter. All right, now to so this hand, this is the height, image all over the height, object equals uh, distance, object, okay, sorry, image all over distance, object. Okay, now HI is unknown, then 2.5, then of course DI that will be 30, then all over 10, right? Yeah. So to this hand now, here you can now see that uh, image height will now be, now we can actually eliminate this, we have 3, so we end up having 2.5 times 3 which will give us uh, 
7.5 centimeter. All right, so D is the right answer. All right, now let's move to the next one. Now, two plane mirrors, M1 and M2, are inclined at 90 as shown. Now, here is the diagram. Now, a ray of light, OP, this OP here, is incident on M, which means here. Now, at P, and emerges, and emerges from M2 along QE, which means the ray of light came here, went here, and left that way. Okay? Now, find the angle of reflection at the second mirror, which means you have to find the angle here, uh, the angle of reflection at this part, which is the second mirror, and find the deviation of the ray after the reflection by the two mirror. All right, first of all, I will redraw this diagram here for a better explanation. Now, here's the diagram, okay? Now, this is the ray of light, which means it actually came in here. Now, this is the incident ray. Now, the and strikes at P. Then it implies that at this point is the normal. As long as it strikes at this point and reflected, then here is the normal. Okay, now let us recall that according to the law of reflection, that the angle of incidence equals to the angle of what? Reflection, right? Now, for us to get the angle of incidence, now the angle of incidence is the angle that is formed within the incident tree and the normal. Okay, so here will definitely be the angle of what? Incident. Now, take note that the whole of here is 90 degree. And if the whole of here is 90 degree, and this part here is 35, which means 90 minus 35 should give us uh, 8, that will be 55. So here is what? 55. Okay. All right. Now, if here is 55, definitely the refracted ray here will then be 55. Right? All right. So... To that end, it also implies here that here is also what, 35. Now, let's take a look now. Now, this is the incident ray. Now, strike here as it reflects towards this end. On getting to this mirror here, this ray here becomes the incident, that means the incident ray on the second mirror. So, on striking here, it implies also that here is the normal. Okay, all right. Now to this part here now. Now take note. So as it moves here also, here and left. So the incident tree for the mirror two, that is M2 here, this is M1, is this ray. Okay, all right. So at this point here now, how then do you calculate this? Now take note, this is 35, right? This is 90. Definitely here will also be what? 55. Now if it is 55, then here also will definitely be 55. That will be 35. Okay? And since the incident ray I equals to the refracted ray, so R here also will now be what? 35. Okay? So here is the refracted ray. So to this end, R uh at the second mirror equals to 35 degree okay now let us now look at find the deviation of the ray after the reflection by this by by the two mirror now for us to get the deviation first now this is the incident ray normally this is the path through which this ray is meant to pass without this mirror right so now it definitely means it deviated from this from here uh, down to this part here. Okay, all right. Now to this end, now it implies that here is uh, no, here should be seventy. That will be thirty-five. Okay, so that will be thirty-five. So to this end here now. The deviation here will now be 35 plus 35, which will give us what 70 degree. Okay, all right. So 
the deviation here also will come over it like this okay now at this point it means the deviation from here will now be from here down to this part here now if here is 35 definitely here will be 55 now here also will be 55 okay yes all right to this end the whole of here is 110 because 55 plus 55 let's see this is 0 11 okay so now the deviation of uh the ray after the reflection by the two mirrors will now be let us say d will now be d1 plus d2 which means the deviation here d1 and the deviation here d2 so which will now give us 70 plus uh, 1110 should give us what 180 all right okay so that is the final answer let's look at this jump question an object is placed 12 centimeter from a concave mirror of radius 32 the image form is now we are giving this uh, option now let us solve to ascertain which of the option is correct now let us take note from the question we are told that the object distance that is u equals 12 centimeter and that the radius equals 32 centimeter let us recall that the mirror formula is giving us this uh, equation okay where f is the focal length v is the uh, image distance or image uh, height or whatever then u is uh, object distance okay now to this end let us recall also that we are not giving f which is the focal length but recall that f equals to radius of curvature then all over 2 uh, which gives us 32 yes. all over 2 which will give us what 16 centimeter now making 1 over v the subject of formula here then we have that uh, so you can see 1 all over f minus 1 all over u equals 1 all over what v now uh, we know that our f is 16 so here you have 1 all over 16 then minus 1 all over uh 12 then equals 1 all over v all right now to this end so here now the lcm here now is 948 so here we are 48 now 48 16 and 48 that will be 3 3 times 1 uh that will be 3 then minus uh, 48 divided by 12 is uh, 4. Now 4 times 1 is 4. So here we are 1 over what? V. Now which gives us negative 1 all over what? 48. Now because 3 minus 1 gives us negative 1. So to this end we can say that V equals to negative 48. Okay. Now to this end. Here we now see that it is negative. Since it is negative, meaning it is what? Virtual. Okay, and so A is the right uh, answer, which means virtue and 48 centimeter behind the mirror. Alright, thank you and God bless you.